everybody, welcome back to Airsoftology Mondays, the show that answers your questions, helps you out a pinch, and is also still cranking out some great questions. It actually has an interesting video of the week this week. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Jonathan Higgs, and if it's your first time here, it's super simple how this show works. Questions down below in the comment section. Make sure you vote up your favorites. I look at all the questions every single week, and I try to get them on the show the next week. I also love how cool you guys are with helping each other out down there. In fact, I even, I'm going to start highlighting some of your other help that you are giving down there. And I've been hearing a little more specific questions you guys are asking about certain things. I'm going to start diving a little more specific into things about certain gun models. I've kind of avoided that in the past, so some of you might rejoice in that, but I'm still going to keep it pretty broad and pretty interesting as well. So a little, little more diversity in the questions. Also, to help support the show, if you guys don't know, I do have patches. I've got logo patches. I've got the sugar knot for all those guys who don't call their hits. This is your way of telling them they can go, well, you know what to do. I've got a Addicted Airsoft Patch. This is actually on sale. It's the woven one. It's on sale in the store. And then, of course, uh, for you guys who have the disdain for the campers, I've got the Happy Camper Patch as well. All those are in the web store. Free shipping worldwide on every purchase. So you can click the button, what price you see, the price you pay, and it goes anywhere, no matter where you live. But enough of me hawking my wares and all that good stuff. Let's dive on into what you're really here for, and that's your questions in the Tipman Mail Call. Ashton John K writes, Hey Jonathan, what would you prefer for a sniper, a DMR, or a bolt action? And what brand and gun is the best for that class? And as promised, I want to give you guys a shout out. This one comes from Rishram9001. He kind of jumped in and actually answered the question in very much of a way that I would answer too. I was kind of looking through the answers going, ha, that's what I would have told you here. So I'm going to kind of agree with him and tell you guys what I'm thinking. If it is your first time, you've never had a sniper rifle or anything like that, I would highly recommend you getting a DMR in this case. I've seen way too many players go, I want to be a sniper. I've been watching Novridge or Jet, and even before the days of Novridge and Jet doing the sniping stuff, uh, or House Gamers, or any of them. There's so many great snipers out there. Um, people would just buy a sniper rifle because it's super cool. Puts you at a big disadvantage in the field. It's expensive to buy the right BBs. It's also expensive to upgrade that gun to get to the power level. And the list goes on and on for reasons why I would probably recommend the sniper rifle not being the way to be a sniper or do a designated marksman or a sharpshooter, if you want to use a better term for both DMR and sniper, on the airsoft field. Also with the DMR, you can always turn it down if you change your mind. You're like, eh, I don't like sitting way back and shooting semi-auto and having like an engagement distance, meaning that you can't shoot your opponent when they get within a certain distance of you. Too close, you're like, oh, can't do that anymore. So yeah, I think that honestly, um, for me, I would recommend you steering clear of that sniper rifle at first and going with the DMR. It's also electric, battery powered, and all those things. You can do follow-up shots super quick. You can put mid caps in there or even high caps. There's just so many good reasons to do it. To start off, I'd probably go with something rather affordable. There's a lot of good options out there. Classic Army has a large, uh, like a SR-25 type gun, M110. Uh, SEMA even has one out there. It's actually, I think, their SR-25. Look at something along those lines. The reason I say look at an SR-25 or an M14, that's uh, also what Rishram, if I pronounce it right, uh, 9001 recommended was the M14 is you need to have, to be a real DMR, a gun that is calibered in a larger caliber, the 308 caliber um, in the real world. And that's if you want to go to big games, and some airsoft fields do require you to have that. So you can't just say, oh, I'm going to be a DMR class and Disney Mar Marksman Rifle class, and I'm going to have just a standard M4 and turn it up really hard and make it so it only shoots semi. It really needs to carry the the in real world be the larger magazines. It's kind of, they want to keep it one-to-one. -one. This is Airsoft. We do try to be a little realistic sometimes. So look into those if you want to spend some more money. There's some great, great higher end versions out there. Uh, Ares even makes an M110 as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you can find that much anymore. And, and there's other good ones. You can also go with an AK side of the house because they are the 7.62 AKs would work like an SVD. There's electric SVDs out there. There's all kinds of stuff that would classify in there. And the designated marksman class with an electric gun. So yeah, go that route first. Try it out. See if you like it. And then if you do, then make the a big leap into the sniper rifle. Awesome AZX9 <clears throat> Awesome AZX90 rides. Hey, do you think that the SEMA AK74U metal and wood is one of the best underrated guns? I have it. Thanks. I think SEMA when it comes to their AKs is probably the biggest sleeper brand in airsoft right now. Um, now some of the other guns I've had some personal experience with, you know, they're good. Uh, some are okay. Uh, but their AK series is pretty 
top notch. I'm not gonna lie, it's darn good looking gun and well functioning gun, especially for the price. Uh, if you want to get into the AK world, it's definitely sleeper. The AK-74U, if you don't know, is the shorter AK um, with the little side folding metal stock and all that, uh, that's kind of a little triangle thing. Um, that is, to me, a great gun. I have actually owned one of those many years ago. It was bulletproof. I took it to Operation Irene many years to run as kind of the insurgent side of the house. And it ran flawlessly for me all those years. I mean, I had it for a long time before I eventually got rid of it. This is long before I even did this show. And that gun still is around and it still holds its 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 value. I mean, not the one I own, but like people are still buying these. So for me, absolutely. I think SEMA is definitely underrated as a brand because there's not a lot of marketing. People aren't like trying to push it like companies and SEMA itself doesn't have a big way of saying, hey, come buy our guns. So yeah, definitely a good choice if you're looking for an AK and you want to stay in that budget range. Harry MJ writes, is this question good enough? Yeah. White Neth writes, hey Jonathan, well it's winter time now and I play outside mostly. I went to my normal field and only six people showed. How do you handle playing in the winter? Do you just not go? I have a two hour drive to an indoor field. That's a long haul to go to an indoor field, but what I would do, six people for me, I actually, I kind of rejoice in the smaller games. A lot of times when I go to the fields, it's big fields, right? Big games, 100 plus people, 50 on 50. It's like a battle royale. And sometimes you can't take advantage of tactics. When you have six people or 10 people on a rather large field, you can have some amazingly fun games out there. I mean, there are some great ones. In fact, in the comment section on the last video for this question, there's some good answers down there. I think some of the better ones are kind of anything that involves good tactics and sneaking and taking advantage of the whole field, make the players decide. So if it's six players, it's three on three, right? Oh man, that's so good. If it's odd number, it's seven. You can do a VIP game. You can do like a pilot down game where both of these little tiny three-man teams are trying to go get this pilot. And one's trying to maybe get them and, and take something from them. The other one's trying to extract the pilot. You know, you can be really creative with it. I think those fun games allow a different play style, something a little more Milsim-esque where there's strategy and a little more movement before you get into a firefight, maybe waiting for the enemy to sneak by or walk by and you kind of stay put. You can do strategy that you normally can't do. So it's not just run gun and blast full auto. This is more sneaky type airsoft and I really, really enjoy it. I remember some great games I had in the winter time when it was super cold, not many people showed up and we had a small number of people. In fact, my home field was where I started playing outdoors, Bad Karma Airsoft outside of Nashville, Tennessee. It's in Lebanon, Tennessee. And that field is very big, 36 acres uh, field. And we've had some days where there's like 10 people out there. So much fun. Anyway, yes, um, absolutely go just Think of a game, a good one, something fun you can do and have a blast with it and make it more interesting when you have less players. All right, guys, that's it for questions this week, which is it's time for the Code Red Set Studio Recommendation of the Week, if I can speak correctly. And this one actually comes from one of you guys. Like every week, I'm trying to take your recommendations. Fedor Nikintin, I hope I did not slaughter your name, actually uh, was responding to last week's show. We were talking about, is there an Airsoft TV show? Could there ever be an Airsoft TV show? And come to find out, thanks to Fedor, there is one in Russia. In fact, that's why I never found it because it's all in Russian, but you don't have to speak Russian to understand cool, awesome gameplay. They even live stream some of these games. This channel has a, over 100,000 subscribers, had no idea it existed. I smashed that sub button on this and it is cool. The channel is called Battle Arena. Like I said, it is a Russian channel. The commentators are speaking in Russian. So if you have Russian skills, good for you. If you're like me and you don't, it's still a blast to watch this. The one I'm gonna highlight here is Russia versus France. It's their game. Remember in Russia, they call it strike ball, not airsoft. So you wanna kind of search for that and you wanna search for it in, I think it's really, I can't remember the, the name of the language, yeah, but the, the characters. So right, make sure you type in Russian characters if you're looking for a strike ball. Really cool to watch. I mean, full on camera crew. These guys are not running GoPros only. I mean, they have legit camera crew falling around. A pretty darn impressive production if I do say so myself, and very well shot. 
Definitely one, I, like I said earlier, I smashed that sub button. Definitely one I've already been watching some videos on and I want to watch some more. So Fedor, thank you so much for this amazing recommendation and I will definitely uh, keep watching these. And if you guys like what you see, go over there, let them know I sent you in their comment section in one of the videos, including the one I'll have linked over here in the corner and then down below in the comment section, you can just click it, head on over, you can watch this video and of course their whole channel full of great stuff. Also, if you guys have a channel that you know or some videos or anything that's airsoft related, kind of military related or something fun that you think the everybody out here would like including myself don't forget to put it down in the comment section below and recommend those channels i keep finding some amazing new stuff from you guys and gals every single week and i love it my subscription list of, of who i subscribe to keeps growing every single day all right again that is it for this show thank you as always for hanging out and being so cool in the comment section below asking some great questions and really making airsoftology a fantastic community if you haven't done it already i do have a website you can go over there airsoftology.com see the updates see what's going on see the current videos and of course the web store i mentioned earlier to help support the show i also have a patreon if you guys want to support in some unique ways and get access in different ways including some live chats and things like that and access to special things only patreon supporters get I will have a link to it as well. So guys, until next time, go out, have some fun, play some airsoft, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.